Rafael Nadal, one of the best tennis players to ever play this. This year, he actually announced that he will be retiring at the end of the year. Very sad day in the tennis community and a very sad day for the athletic world. This video is a tribute to him. I will also tell you the time that I played tennis with him when I was younger and how it was meeting him. We will also discuss a few points about, about his athleticism, his career, as well as the mentality he had that he became the best player in the world. Again, this video is not a debate as to who's better, him, Nadal or Djokovic. It's truly to celebrate the champion, right? Keep watching the video. Now, before we dive deeper into Rafael Nadal and how his career was and how his uh, personality was, it's very important to speak out of his achievements. Uh, 22 Grand Slam titles, second most major men's single titles, 14 French Open titles, most clay court titles, he had won 16 titles before turning 20. That's incredible. As a teenage athlete, that was incredible. Uh, 92 career titles, singles career record of 1,080 wins, 227 losses. That's 82.6% of wins. Uh, he was the king of clay, especially at the French Open. His record was 112 wins and just four losses in almost 20 years of career. That is insane. Now, Rafael Nadal was a very aggressive tennis player. He, he was speedy. His Court coverage was incredible and uh, his athleticism and speed around the court was so high that he could hit very well on the run. He was a great defender. But the beautiful part is that he was a natural athlete. He, it's not like he didn't work hard, but hear what he has to say himself. I think I worked more on court than, than on the gym, no? Uh, but I worked always with uh, very high intensity. So probably that's, re that's the reason. And if, yeah, a little bit of uh, genetic too, no? because I have... Uh, all my family uh, uncles that they are quite big and strong. As you grow older uh, as an athlete, you need to make sure that you're also focusing on your body because your muscles and your tendons, your ligaments do end up taking a beating because very, very high impact sport. Rafael Nadal, when he was asked whether he spends more time in the gym in his 30s or more on the court, he actually responded that he spends more time in the gym because everyone realizes that as you grow older and for the longevity, you need to take care of your body and your muscles. So weight training is a very essential part of being an athlete. Let's hear him. He used to be very strong when I was uh, uh, 18, 2005 have been, yeah. I don't know, I, I have been uh, young with a lot of energy, a lot of passion. Uh, I was running for every ball. Uh, during the years you lose, uh, of course, uh, some of this energy and then, uh, and then uh, you need to improve uh, the other things to, to keep being competitive. Sensational from the Spaniard. I can't be at the age of 35 and a half <laughs> over the, the 23 guys. But do you spend more or less time in the gym nowadays than you used to? Probably a little bit more no, than, than when I was, uh, I was 18, 19, 20, no, and less time on court. I follow what my physical trainer says more than, than, than have every day uh, a routine. No? Sometimes you spend one hour, sometimes 45 minutes, sometimes one hour 30, uh, depending on which kind of work you have. One of the reasons that I actually do feel that why Rafael Nadal was such a beast on the court is because he played multiple sports. Multiple sports actually help your body adapt to different movements and different postures and different pressures of the environment that your body becomes really strong. Uh, and then it's not brittle anymore. It doesn't break down very easily. So Rafael Nadal used to play it and he also even spoke about how he has not been able to do it in his late 30s because of his injuries. And that's the truth, no, I, I never have been a, <laughs> a gym guy, you know. <laughs> You're <laughs> this, lying. I am not uh, a big fan of the gym, no, I am more uh, a fan of playing sports, no, different sports. Uh, it's true that, uh, unfortunately, since a couple of years ago, already with the knees, then with the, with the foot, I was not able to to play different sports as I uh, used to do it in the past. When you're an athlete like Rafael Nadal who performs at the highest level, you need to have a certain level of mental strength and uh, the focus that's required for you to excel. This one snippet of from one of his interviews really 
shows you what sort of an athlete, what sort of an individual he is. So mentally strong, sharp, focused, great learning for every athlete out there. In those long, intense matches, what's your self-talk? What do you tell yourself when, it, when the body starts hurting? I don't know. When you are playing, uh, just think about keep playing you know, and just uh, try to do the things uh, the proper way in terms of hydration and in terms of uh, trying to, to do uh, the right routines to, to hold and to, to, to keep having the, the body ready for the, for the, for the, next, the next point. You know, that's, that's it. You know, I, I just try to be focused and ready for 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 the next point for the next game for the next set what a legend this guy is i mean it's phenomenal watching him was a delight now let me get to the story of when i met him i was probably early teens and my father used to work somewhere and he used to work at was sponsoring an event where there was like a four-man tournament and rafael nadal was invited to it and rafael nadal decided to do sort of like a small camp you know he would meet and greet a few people and you know share some shots on the other side of the court so myself and a couple of my cousins we went there uh, we saw Rafael Nadal in the skin uh, there were probably at least 30 more kids even adults as a matter of fact and uh, we took our tennis racket and then uh, Rafael Nadal was kind enough to play shots with with every person who was there so I would say 40 second rally it would be nice enough to just pass it and you would hit it and they would, it was great fun so one of those core memories that's like in my brain and phenomenal uh, one thing that really stands out that I still remember that day that his left forearm was huge it was so much bigger than his right but obviously he had a very different grip on the handle an orthodox one which uh, allowed him to get a lot more top spin on it but yeah he was an absolute gentleman he was so kind so polite so patient because i was in abu dhabi then and you know how hot ue gets and in the courts outside it was a lovely experience i genuinely feel that i'm losing an ideal that i've always looked up to even while training myself when i used to play football soccer and uh, nadal would definitely be in my top athletes of all times so i wish him nothing but the best and uh, we hope to catch him in action again next month and i look forward to it thank you for watching whoever has watched it and as always see you next time.